Well, if you're someone who likes the huge rims, you're gonna love this Monte Carlo Super Sport Forza Edition, but I have a question for Ultimate Edition owners of Forza 7 that have the game already. Do you have this car in your garage? Because this thing literally came out of nowhere. I just loaded up Forza 7, and apparently this was the last car I was driving, even though I never had seen it before, driven it, done anything with it, I didn't do anything to earn this thing, so I have no idea where this car came from, and although it's a Forza edition, it has no boost, you can see there's no credits boost, no XP boost, nothing, and it also says it's worth zero collection score on that screen, but then on here it says 999 it's worth, so that doesn't line up, I think this is just a completely glitched car, I have no idea for sure, just not sure where the car came from. And in case anyone's wondering how to use the Forza Vista bottom right, just click in your right stick on Xbox and it will take you straight to the Forza Vista. Not sure what the button would be on PC, but at the bottom right of your screen in the main menu you should be able to see it say Forza Vista. But the thing is with the Forza Vista, this is a huge step down from Forza Horizon 3. I mean, it's really difficult to see your car. And on top of that, it just feels so awkward to move around. It doesn't feel smooth like Horizon 3 did, and it's not a huge deal, but I'm personally someone who just really loves using the Forza Vista, just looking over the car, and it's a feature I love, but it really is not all that great here in Forza Motorsport 7, but enough about that, that's not important. But I seriously have no idea where this Monte Carlo Forza Edition came from because I had no messages in my message center, so I don't think I was gifted this car, I'm pretty sure it did not come from the Forza hub when I claimed my credits, and I'm also very positive that this did not come from a VIP prize crate that I opened, and it somehow just randomly ended up, I can't talk right now, but it just randomly ended up in my garage, and apparently I was driving it, so no idea, but this car is practically worthless because it's a Forza edition that has no boosts, it's worth no collector score to help you rank up your tier. And on top of that, I decided to drive this thing and see how it performs. And it's worthless here too. I mean, I launched this car and you know what I realized? This thing has zero horsepower and zero torque. It is slow as hell. I mean, it turns fine. It rarely loses grip, but it is just so slow. And if you go into third gear, you just feel like you're barely moving. The car doesn't even sound all that great, but I'm going to let you hear some car sounds, hopefully enjoy a little bit of gameplay, and unfortunately this is the first gameplay I'm sharing with you from the full game of Forza 7, so I just took this car out in free play, I just wanted to see what it was going to be like, and if anyone knows anything about this car let me know, because I don't know where it came from, I don't know why it's a Forza edition without boosts, I'm not sure what's going on with the collection score, and I feel like the performance should be better, it's not built or tuned for sure, unless this is the way they intended it, just super slow, huge rims, let's go with that, but not really sure what's going on with this thing, I still hope you really enjoyed the video, as always thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.